so I can't leave my fucking house because it hurts too much. I need fake niggas to get way back. James Harden with the range, on me nigga way back. Homie stars switching lanes, I thought we went way back. Way back. Welcome back to the Cosmoholics Anonymous. I am your favorite girl, Bo Vintage, and today's video is a rant. My pet peeves, bitch. Bitch, I need to update y'all with my little list again because I got a lot on my chest that I need to get off. And the first thing that really fucking grinds my gears, bitch, don't call me hun, I ain't your hun. Like, Another thing that really motherfucking grinds my gears is when I'm scrolling on the fucking shade room, okay? Well, I got two things for the shade room, but I'll get into the other one in a second. When I'm scrolling on the fucking shade room at like 5 in the morning, and they only have like two new posts. Like, what you mean? I haven't scrolled for like four, six, maybe eight hours. I'm checking at 5 a.m. and you're telling me the only two posts that you posted today, the only two posts that you guys have to offer me are these two irrelevant ass posts that I don't care about, like that I seen earlier today. What, what you mean? Like, post new shit, Shade Room. Shout out to the Shade Room. The other thing I fucking hate about the Shade Room, okay, because I thought I had privacy, y'all. Like, I thought, you know, I don't think it's really occurred to me or it's really settled in that I am known, kind of. Like, I have... I don't want to call this internet fame. Like, I really don't. I what, what can we call this, you guys? Like, let's name this real quick. Like, I'm not a fucking celebrity. I'm a regular girl living in a regular world, okay? So, I, I don't like, and a lot of you guys are guilty of this, when I'm trying to get my gossip on, okay? And I'm scrolling down the fucking shade room. And I comment on some shit, and y'all motherfuckers in the comments talking about, hey, bro, I catch you for all this. And I'm like, yo, <laughs> I'm like, can I have some privacy? Like, what's really good? Like, you guys are doing the utmost. I, I just want to, like, be a little private. Can I have Can I have that, guys? Or, or is it this just, like, we are in a relationship and... And that's the bottom line, cause Stone Cold says so. That basically how our thing's gonna go. And if that is how it's gonna be, let me know because I need to know. But like, if I'm commenting on some ratchet ass shit in the shade room, baller alert, the celebrity, if I'm commenting on any one of those sites or, or um, Instagram pages, and y'all catch me in there, just let me be in there, okay, please. <laughs> I beg you. If I don't have a choice, if this is the life that I have to live, y'all telling me, hey, in the shade room, then it is what it is, okay? But, the fuck? But I do see, I do see you guys. So shout out to y'all. <laughs> Another motherfucking thing. I hate on the topic of Instagram, on the topic of motherfucking Instagram, another motherfucking thing I hate is when I am trying to find somebody on Instagram, I want to creep your shit, but I can't because you change your fucking username every 10 seconds. I have a problem with you. Like, I, like no, I, I need to be able to creep your shit if I need to creep it. So, please do not change your name every 10 seconds because how am I supposed to find you if I don't know what the fuck your new name is? Like, And I would change some weird shit like XO, XO, 92, 11, like... Nobody can find you, bitch. I don't even know your real name to be even trying to like type in your real name to see if that might pop your username up or pop your Instagram up. Like, help a sister out. When I want to creep, I want to creep. Like, I be on the creep life and I can't because people be changing their usernames every 10 seconds. Like, please don't do it. You know how long I've had the Instagram username? I don't get paid enough for this. 2013 that's three years bitch that's dedication that is commitment get you some see and that's the reason why some of y'all bitches ain't got no damn man you can't even keep a fucking instagram name but you want to keep a man bitch learn how to commit okay speaking about bitches and they men okay i can't stand a bitch that think everybody want they man like where do you get off Nine times out of ten, the nigga ain't cute. Nine times out of ten, the nigga is broke. Nine times out of ten, the nigga ain't even funny. And that's like a major L. 
where did the bitch get off thinking that people want her man? Did his scruffy ass like nobody wants your man boo like you could keep your man nobody wants your man everybody else is already booed up like especially when it's for me like bitches will like fucking you see have you ever been walking through the mall and like or like oh you're on the bus or something and a girl automatically gets intimidated by you and so she clutches or like she like pulls her man a little closer like rubs his head or like holds his hand bitch you're scary like what are you doing your man's not i'm not even checking for him but he's probably checking for me though and that's why he was mad that's why you're mad but like that's nothing to do with me check your boo because why are you touching his hand if he's looking at other bitches like that's sad let's say it you're a sad sad lady look upon him like nobody wants that freaking hell I don't know if I spoke about this in my last clickbait needs to die or in the one before that but this is some shit that really grinds my gears when a motherfucker wanna comment and say I don't see a ring but the title says husband are you sure they're married are they married why is that any of your motherfucking concern? Mind your motherfucking business, bitch. Worry about your marriage and your three kids, bitch. Or your non-marriage and your three kids. Like, what? Why is that any of your concern if I got a ring or not? Like, who told you I wanted to wear a ring? What if we want to do tattoo rings? Like, it's none of your fucking business if Shooter and me are married or not but to clear the motherfucking air here's what it is and I'm only gonna address this this is the last time I'm addressing it. anybody else that gets confused can fucking jump we are not married legally shooter and I are what you call common law marriage okay and I would put a link in the description box for you to understand what it is but I don't give a fuck I don't care that much to do that to help you understand like I really don't this is what it is shooter is a male I am a female we are in a relationship we are boyfriend and girlfriend we have lived in the same house for over four years okay in Canada or at least in Ontario once you live with a partner a partner that is of the opposite sex for one year, you're automatically considered common law married. Meaning that if we had a kid and we were common law married and we broke up, I could get that ass for fucking child support, okay? I get that ass for child support regardless because he's my boyfriend, but irrelevant. It, that's what it is. We're not legally married. We will be married, but we're not legally married, okay? And I'm not having no fucking kids until I am fully wed, in case you were wondering about my fucking vagina as well, okay? And my uterus. Another thing that I can't fucking stand is when somebody dies, and this shit's tacky, okay? When somebody dies, and everybody's on social media, on Twitter and shit, like they have maybe one encounter with the person. Motherfucking one, 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 one encounter with the mother, sorry. With the person, the deceased, okay? In their whole entire life. And they wanna talk like, oh my God, I knew that guy, I knew that girl, blah, blah, blah. You don't know nobody, like, what do you mean? Like, I hate when people do that. It's so tacky to act like you knew the person that died. Like, especially if they got like murdered or like their their death was public like a car accident or something like and then you're gonna be on Twitter talking about how you knew that person and blah blah you didn't know that person you met that person once my nigga like that's not your friend it's disrespectful like why are you doing that and I've seen it so many times like I seen people go in on Twitter when certain people die and I'm just like y'all niggas ain't shit really Really? A dead person? You want to claim that you knew a dead person? Really? Like, come on. You don't know nobody. Like, just stop. That one person that replies to every comment, they always end up in spam. Like, you are going to spam by doing this, okay? I have to approve your comments. And I always approve the comments, but it's just such a headache. Like, why are you going through and replying to everybody? And I hate the people that are like rebuttaling to everybody. Like if somebody says something they don't agree with, they'll be like, send. 
and then go to the next comment and do it again. Like, why? Why are you doing that? They don't, the person that commented initially probably doesn't even give a fuck that you're replying to them. So don't waste your time. Like, and don't waste my time because I don't want to go to spam to approve shit. Like, you're making my job harder than it needs to be. I, re I just don't. Doing the most. Relax. It's never that deep. Like, I try to tell you guys all the time, it's really just not that deep. <clears throat> another one of my pet peeves, another thing that grinds up my fucking gears, is when people have the nerve to ask me to shorten my videos. Who told you that I posted it for you? How dare you ask me to shorten my videos? How dare you? I will make my videos as, bitch if I wanna post a two hour video documentary about fucking eyeliner, I will do that, okay? Do not tell me how to run my channel. This is my baby. Did you, anybody tell your mama how to raise you and how to wipe your ass? I don't think so. I don't have the time to cater to everybody. I cannot cater to everybody. I am one person. If you don't like long videos, don't watch long videos. If you don't like short videos, then watch the long videos. If you don't like either, then watch average videos. I and mean, if you don't fuck with me, then just don't fuck with me. The fuck? Now, it's come to my attention that no matter what you do, no matter what you post, Bitch, somebody is not gonna like it. There's always gonna be at least one person. You know, in my case, it's like, I don't know, 12, 13, maybe 70. I don't fucking know. It's irrelevant. I have one suggestion though, okay? One suggestion, me and the great people at Forever 21, we have we have a, a fucking solution for all you motherfuckers that got a problem with bougie with anybody that's on youtube actually like if you don't fuck with somebody then you don't fuck with them you don't have to fuck with us we don't give a shit okay there's one solution for you do you want to know what it is pay close attention okay pay close pay close motherfucking attention bitch shout out to the people over at forever 21 though bitch unfollow me Okay, unsubscribe, ho. Unsubscribe, we don't care about you. Like, why are you still here? I've had people comment and tell me that my attitude sucks, that they like my videos, blah, 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 blah. Why are you here? And the joke is the same motherfuckers that wanna act like they don't fuck with me are still checking for me. Lil Miss Whitney, okay, some of y'all know who Whitney is, some of y'all don't. Whitney commented back on one of my videos a while back, expressing her hate for me. Whitney, we, we had a prayer session for Whitney. We prayed for Whitney, okay? Everybody gonna drag Whitney's ass. Two, maybe three weeks ago, Whitney's little ghetto ass came back on my shit, okay? And expressed her hate for me again. Bitch, you're a fan. You love me. You, you, you're in love with me, matter of fact. You wanna eat my fucking box. Suck it from the back, bitch. Cause I ain't got the fucking time. She's not even, matter of fact, she probably is subscribed, but she acting like she's not subscribed. Bitch, you're still checking for me. Like, don't check for me if you don't fuck with me. How fucking hard can that be? Like, I thought it was pretty straightforward. If I stop fucking with somebody, I don't check for them at all, bitch. You could be dead and I will not find out because it's not important. Like, it is what it is. If you don't fuck with somebody, leave them the fuck alone. Don't help me make money. Don't do it because you don't like me, right? So why are you wasting your time to click my video, to open the video, to comment some nonsense, and you don't like me? That makes no sense. You're in love with me. But the solution is really quite simple. Let me sit up, yeah? This is the solution right here. Un motherfucking follow. You don't have to stay subscribed. Like, you really don't. And, and to the people that are not subscribed that comment the hate, to the people that are not subscribed, God is going to deal with y'all motherfuckers, okay? <laughs> God will deal with you. He will. Yes, he will. Won't he do it? Yes, he will. Like, you guys are doing the most, the utmost. I don't understand it. Like, I really don't get it. If I don't fuck with somebody, I'm really just not gonna check for them. And that is one of my, you know, that is one of the things I hate about YouTube. Like, and to the people that wanna let me know that they're unsubscribing, you don't have to let me know, bitch. I won't notice. Like, you really don't have to let me know. You could just go. I mean, you can unsubscribe if you want to. Nobody's forcing you 
to keep your motherfucking subscription going, bitch. Take your little mouse and click the motherfucking button if you don't like me. Because you know what? My whole life I've been dealing with people not fucking with me, not liking me. And it's just like, who cares? You, God did not put me here for everybody to like me. That's not why I am here. You're either going to watch my shit and learn from my mistakes or you're going to laugh. Those are the two reasons I post videos, okay? You're either going to learn from me so you don't repeat the same fucking shit I've done in my life. Like the fucking the flight attending story I told. Because y'all cause had some words for me about that. Like... It's not that deep, it's just YouTube. And I don't get why everybody gets all riled up and in their feelings and like mad at me for doing shit in my life. Like what? <laughs> Who are you? Who are you? Like why would you ever be mad at me or mad at my decision making skills? Like, did they affect you? Did you die? Why are you mad? And to the people that like to point out unnecessary shit, like, you have a booger in your nose or something? Fuck y'all, like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Who cares? I'm a fucking human being, can I be a fucking human? Like, am I allowed to be a human? I know I'm part unicorn and whatnot, but like, y'all can just leave me the fuck alone. Like, you do not have to let me know every little thing. You think I don't fucking know there's a booger in my nose? I edited the motherfucking video, didn't I? If I didn't want you to see it, I would have edited it out. But I don't give a fuck. So, no, I'm not going to edit it out. You're going to see these boogers. You're going to see my whole fucking brain if I want you to. It's so frustrating, I swear to God. Anyway, like, I have subscribers that are subscribed just to dislike. I have people that I have blocked that have made new accounts to fucking come and dislike. Okay? Shout out to Dacia. What's up, bitch? Like, <laughs> And I'm, it's either the people know me in real life and are mad at my fucking life or like they're just fucking weirdos because why do you have that much time on your hands to be so bothered by little old bougie like all I do is mind my business and fucking post videos like why can't I live like can I live my nigga like why can't I just post what I want to fucking post without motherfuckers being overly sensitive about it like everybody's so sensitive about everything I can't say anything without somebody fucking rebuttaling like why bitch why and then the the random motherfuckers that don't know what they want to do with their own life so they're mad at mine like don't be mad at my life like i didn't choose this like this this life chose me honey it really did like i have gone through so much shit in my life that what i put on the internet is not even a fucking fraction of it so what what divide that shit by pie bitch like you guys don't know anything and so for people to come and like if i like specifically the video the most recent video i posted that got a lot of backlash was the flight attendant story time and like you don't know my shit like you don't know what the fuck i've been through my life you don't know my trials and tribulations bitch i got on the internet and told y'all a little one a little fucking 20 minute story. Is it 20 minutes? I don't know. I told you guys a little fucking story about the time I got fired from a job and everybody's jumping down my throat about it. Like, why? Why can't I just share my story and let it be a story? Like, bitch, pretend it's fucking fiction. The fuck? Like, don't, don't do it. Like, why are you coming for me? Because I decided that I didn't want to get the fucking shoes, bitch. Like, that's my decision. That's a decision that I have to live with. I wasn't, I didn't wake up one morning when I was fucking six and was like, I want to be a flight attendant so bad, like, oh my gosh, when I get older I'm going to be a flight attendant. Bitch, it was never like that. Obviously this was not a dream of mine that, you know, I let slip through my fingers, like, that's not what that was. So why are everybody pressed? And if I have learned from that situation and I'm in a better place now, then why is it an issue if I didn't get the fucking shoes bitch I, if if that were the case i probably would not be sitting here right now even fucking ranting to this damn camera because i would have gone a different way but i was not supposed to so i didn't if i had asked my mother for the fucking money for the shoes she would have found a way to get it to me because john knows her ass was probably broke at the time too not probably but she was broke like she would have been willing to help me but she would have had to jump through hoops 
to help me and I wasn't gonna put my mom through that because I know my mom's situation so like I have only told you guys what I wanted to tell you guys I don't have to tell you guys every little thing and so for me to have posted that story and then people like their feelings about me not getting the shoes and then when they're commenting and I'm replying to them I'm the bitch um no how about you don't speak on things that you don't know anything about how about that hmm oh yeah I think I think that makes sense that's why people need to mind their motherfucking business. If I'm sharing a story with you, I want you to either learn from it or laugh at it. And, or both. Like, I've not told a gut-wrenching story yet on my channel where you're gonna be fucking sobbing and in tears. Maybe my deadbeat dad story, but like barely. I still made that story funny because, because of the amount of things I've been through in my life from age zero, okay, from newborn to 20 something, like, Nobody can tell me anything because I have gone through it. Like, you guys have no idea, okay? Zero, if nada. Like, you guys have no idea what I've been through in my life. And until you know somebody inside and out, until you do know everything, every little thing about me, everything that's ever happened to me in my life, you can't really form an opinion on me because you don't know why I am the way that I am. So, like, fuck y'all. Y'all are dumb. That's how I feel. If you don't like it, get into it, bitch. Get the fuck into it. I'm not even playing anymore. Fuck the nonsense. Fuck the bullshit. Like, y'all wanted the real, I'm gonna give you the fucking real. Reading the comments on that one particular video is just so, it was it got so irritating. And y'all know me, like, one of my pet peeves is definitely videos without a comment section. So I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna disable the comment section. It's the same with the comments that come in on my Jeffree Star video, like, everybody got something to say. And that's fine, because I have an opinion too. Say the tables were turned and I was watching somebody's video. Somebody said they got fired. The same exact video I posted about getting fired from a flight attendant or flight attending. If somebody else had posted that exact same video word for word, and it was me watching, in my fucking brain, I'm not going to fucking be like, let me comment that this is what you should have done. Shoulda, coulda, woulda, bitch. I didn't. So what is your point? This is years ago. This is not like, it's not like I went through it yesterday. Everybody's like, you're so immature, blah, blah, blah. This is not, I didn't go through this yesterday. Like, this is not a new thing that happened. This happened years ago, okay? And I moved past that. I just wanted to share the story because I thought it was fucking hilarious. Like, why can't I do that? Why can't I just share a story freely? I don't understand. I don't understand. I don't. Oh, look. Look who came to make an a fucking appearance. And half of the motherfuckers commenting ain't got shit going for themselves. Like, you don't have your life all the way together. Did you have it all the way figured, it, figured out at 20? No. Nobody has it all the way figured out at 20. So why is it that I get fucking reprimanded for... A decision I made years ago like you know what I mean like where they do that at why I think I have a natural talent for making people mad people that don't read the description box hello hi hi everything at dot com is in the description box everything ever dot com is located in the description box okay every single time Hey, what song is that? Well, I, don't, I don't know. Did you check the description box? Did you? Did you? Did you go? Did you see? Did you check if it's there before you asked? I don't, I don't think you did because I'm pretty sure I put it there. What palette is that? I don't know. Did you check the description box? Did, did you? It, it, may, it might be there. This is a makeup video, so it should be there. I mean, colors and all. You got re reading is fundamental, y'all. Like, you got to read if you want to succeed, okay? And on the topic of those types of comments, people that comment and ask for my Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, or Facebook, the opening clip to every video is all of my social media. Cosmologs Anonymous, and then it says all of my social media at the bottom. Why do people seem to miss that? I don't know. They're just listening to the intro music or what, but like, pay attention because it's there. So, 
obviously clickbait is like my number fucking one pet peeve like i absolutely hate clickbait and i think everybody hates clickbait but there's good clickbait and there's bad clickbait like there's clickbait that is just like really bitch really you really wasted my time and then there's clickbait like i see what you did there bitch like those are two types of clickbait I tried to only participate, not try, bitch, I only participate in the I see what you did there, bitch, clickbait. The other clickbait, bitch, I have no respect for you. If you're gonna fucking use clickbait on all your motherfucking titles, bitch, and like, really try to rake in them fucking views, I have a problem. Because not only did you waste my time and my click, but you're making money off of me, bitch. And it ain't gonna happen. It's not gonna happen. I'm not. I'm not doing it. Like I'm really not. Like I. That's why when I see like iffy titles, I go in. I click the video. I pause the video. I scroll down and read the comments. If I see that it says clickbait anywhere in those comments, I swear I will freaking flip shit. Okay. I fucking dislike the video first of all because I'm petty and then I fucking leave because I'm not going to give you my view while well, you still got the view but I'm not going to give you my time and I'm certainly not going to see that first ad bitch if I scroll and see that it's clickbait in the comment section like there's people that are be like really angry in the comments talking about this is clickbait and if I read that shit like you just lost a view bitch you lost a subscriber and now you just you just losing views all over the place because now I'm not gonna see any of your videos because I'm not subscribed anymore like you cannot abuse clickbait that's a thing like every once in a while okay do some like crazy ass clickbait but to be using it on all of your videos that's not right that's not fair to your subscribers like come on there's other ways to get views like is there though is there honestly I wish I was using clickbait because I probably make way more fucking money but I'm not gonna do that to y'all okay I I'm not selling out just yet I'll let you know when I'm about to sell out but it ain't yet it ain't gonna be anytime soon I promise I can't fucking stand when somebody asks me an opinion and then have the nerve to tell me it's wrong. Since when can opinions be right or wrong? Opinions are opinions, okay? That's all they ever are, that's all they ever will be. If you don't like it, then you don't like it, but you can't tell me my opinion's wrong. Who, who the hell are you to tell me that my opinion is wrong? That's, that's silly, like. This chair sounds like a damn cat. But like, don't ask me my opinion and then tell me that it's wrong because there's no such thing. Like, I would not ask you your opinion and then try to tell you that it's wrong or I'm not thinking straight. Like, how? You can't force people to agree with you. You can't force people to like you or like what you're going to say. So, no, my opinion is not wrong. You telling me that my opinion is wrong is what's actually wrong. Okay? The fucking Makari Markar Mary Car I don't fucking know app that everybody wants to comment. Like I got an ass whoop waiting for all y'all and the devil has a special place waiting in hell for you too. Do not comment on no damn Markari Makari app on my shit. I don't care if it's Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, or YouTube. Don't do it. I don't care. Nobody in the comment section cares about the fucking app. We're not gonna download it. We're not gonna use your fucking promo code to get this bullshit ass free makeup you're promoting. Like, no. And I don't want no damn free makeup because you know what that is? Free makeup can never be good. Something's wrong with it if they're giving it away for free. Like, no, no, and no. Do not advertise that shit on my shit. Something I really hate is when you tell somebody an idea and they try to beat you to the punch. But then they can't figure it out because all you did was give them the idea. They don't know how to execute the problem or execute the situation. So, like, say I tell somebody, okay, I'm going to go into the business of making cardboard boxes. And then they're like, oh, shit, that's good business. Shit, I need to get on it first. Sneaky little motherfucker. And so they try to go do it, but then they fucking fail. And they tried to let you, they tried to low-key let you know that they about to go do it too. Like, they're really bold. They tried to let you know that they're gonna fucking do it. And you're just like, 
but I told you that that's what I was going to do. So instead of teaming up with me, because there's space for everybody, instead of teaming up with me to make cardboard boxes, you want to go try to make your own cardboard boxes, and now that it's not working, now you want to link up with me? Bitch, eat a dick. Because where they do that at, you're not going to do that. Like, don't try to steal no damn ideas, bitch. It's not cute. My fucking period, bitch. I fucking hate that shit. I will forever and a day hate my period. I don't know why Eve had to go do the sinning thing and screw us all up. But, like, I don't know about y'all. But when I'm on my period, the cramps are real, honey. Bitches is in the fetal position all day for, like, three days. Cramping like a motherfucker. Bleeding. Disgusting. Ew, I fucking hate my period. Like, I'm sorry if it's a little too graphic for you, but like, I just don't like my period. And don't tell me to take no damn birth control to help with the cramps because I'm not doing it. I'm literally there sitting there with a the fucking heat, fucking um, heating pad, fucking hot water bottle, fucking. Tylenol and Advil, the ass Motrin, Midol, literally all the shit. I feel like I have to constantly shower. Ugh, oh my gosh. And then I used to wear tampons. Bitch, if I, if I, bitch, when I'm on my period, I can't leave my house because there's two reasons. One, I'm in too much pain to leave anyway. But two, I refuse to wear a pad outside of my house okay and granny panties oh gosh I have something to say about granny panties but we'll get back to that in a second I refuse to leave my house in those things or under those in those conditions therefore when I was working a regular job I would miss work for my period because I just can't function on my period but now that I work from home I'm still losing money because literally I cannot do anything when I'm on my period. Like it puts a real damper in my whole life. Like my period really gotta relax and chill out. And like before it only used to be three days. Now it wants sometimes when I was on birth control, it switched to seven and I said, hell the fuck no, I'm really not gonna do this birth control thing. Like, no, it's just not gonna happen for me. And then when I came off birth control, now it's like out of study five days, and it's just too long for me. It's disgusting. I feel dirty and unclean when I'm on my period, and the cramping is really what really just you know puts it over the edge for me. But like, I, the whole tampon thing, I can't wear tampons, bitch. Like, I really can't. It hurts so bad. Like, the tampons amplify the cramps to a whole new level. And it never used to be like that. I don't know what happened, bitch. Shoot it, I broke my damn vagina. I can't wear no fucking tampons no more. So I can't leave my fucking house because it hurts too much. No matter how much of the fucking drugs I take to numb the pain, I'm still in pain. So I can't do anything. I can't function. And it fucking sucks. So, yeah, my period is my pet peeve it shouldn't be this painful it should be easy breezy like sunday morning but the lord said no so what he says goes and speaking of granny panties i have no respect for you and matter of fact if this is you then you know we're gonna have to do some mighty prayer over you if you are leaving your house in granny panties and black leggings, matter of fact, leggings of any color. No, just no. Why are you doing that? What, wh who told you, who raised you? But who told you that that was okay for you to put on a full panty and fucking leggings? And then on to top it off, you're not even wearing a shirt that's of a nice, decent, long length to cover your booty. You're wearing a shirt that is either cropped and you just disrespectful if you're wearing a crop top with leggings and granny panties but if you're wearing a regular size if you're wearing a regular t-shirt that does not cover your bum that does not go past the top of your booty something is severely and utterly wrong with you you are not supposed to leave your house in those damn granny panties and leggings okay tight whatever 
that is not okay it never has been it never will be I started wearing thongs in the sixth grade for panty line reasons like you will not see me. I don't wear regular ass panties unless I'm on my period you will not catch me in a regular ass panties unless I'm on my period or fucking going to sleep sometimes I don't even wear the damn drawers so like no just no if this is you I don't care how old you are if this is you you need to stop I can't stand people that think they know it all like any wise person knows they don't know shit like some people you'll be talking to them and you'll be trying to tell them something about something something that you know facts about okay and they'll turn around and try to tell you no no that's not right no 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 this is how it really is this is this is what it really is though but if you think about it this is what it really is Bitch, no, I'm, I'm, I'm telling you facts right now. Like, I got into an argument with somebody about Amy Winehouse. How are you going to sit there and try to tell me? How are you going to sit there and try to tell me the woman's name is Amy Whitehouse? How? Houseway. How? Google is one... One... One little click away, bitch. How are you telling me that Amy motherfucking Winehouse's name, Winehouse, her last name is White House? Since when, bitch? Let me know. Because I never heard no shit like that in my life. Literal argument, and I'm just like, yo. I think I would know what her last name is, okay? And those are the type of people that'll make you doubt yourself, like, well, maybe her last name is White House. Bitch, no, no, it's not. Like, her last name is Winehouse. Like, how are you gonna tell me, me, what the lady last name is? Like, oh my gosh. And I'm just like, you know what? You're right. You're 100% you're right. Her last name is White House. I was so wrong. Do you boo? But all I'm saying is Google is one fact check away. Like, that's all you gotta do. Just open up Google real quick and just Google it. And God forbid you bring up Google to the people that think they know everything. And like, the internet's not always right. I just be like, you know what? I give up, bitch. Like, you know, call, call me. Call me when call me when you got some fucking sense, okay? Big ass friends, bitch. Biggest friends that wanna act like they support your ass, but they not. Hold on, my choker's all twisty and turny and shit. <clears throat> I got a whole lot of friends on I got a whole lot of friends on my social media accounts. But none of them ever message me and they're like you know what? Motherfucking good that they don't message me because that means they know they fucking plays. But like, the people that I would think would have been supporting my channel from jump from day one and like really rooting for me, they did not. They have not. They probably will not. And that's cool. But just remember that when one day I have a fucking Lamborghini and bitch you's at the bus stop. Just remember because you should have been supporting like you really just should have and ooh, ooh, oh my phone was in between my legs and just vibrated on my damn bitch no no that was uncomfortable to say the least bitch this is this is not a toy I never put my phone back in between my legs tell you that <laughs> cuz I was not expecting that that was that was very shocking for me uh anyway i don't know there's just certain people that i definitely felt like or f i feel like i would have wanted those people to support me because if they were doing something like this i would definitely be supporting them but i don't even think motherfuckers is subscribed they don't even be liking my facebook statuses like if i post a link or something and then like the people that i would never expect to be watching my videos and supporting me and like mention me on Facebook or something like people that I grew up with I'm just shocked by it and I'm just like <laughs> I'm gonna send you a Christmas card in the mail cuz you's nice like you yes bitch support the kid holy shit people that <laughs> put tried to write sexy but put a three for the E 
Do you see this ugly ass face I'm making? That's how I feel about you. That, like, that face hurt to make. My face literally just hurt. And that's how I feel about people that put a three for the E in sexy. Cause that ain't sexy. All y'all need some milk and Jesus. Jesus and milk. Videos with no skippable ads. Eat. A dick. Why don't you have skippable ads? Like, I would never. You know what? Maybe it's like once you get to like a certain level, you're like, fuck this. I gotta, I gotta make sure y'all watch these ads. Like, and so you don't put the skippable ad feature because you make more money or some shit. But like, don't you feel some type of way about ads? Like, I hate ads. I don't even want to put ads on my videos, but I'm like, okay, I gotta eat, so I have to put the ads. But like, I don't like watching ads. I press skip ad after the seven seconds go. So when I see people that don't have, when I see people with like millions of subscribers that don't have the skippable ad feature, I'm just like, really? You're really gonna make me? I don't watch the video. I promise if I go to your shit, I don't care what the video is about. Because if there's one video about it on YouTube, there's a hundred other videos about it on YouTube. So I don't have to watch yours. But like, if I click a video and it's, there's no skippable ads. The first ad is playing and it's like longer than five seconds. I'm out. I'm not giving you a fucking view. Are you kidding me? I gotta go. I don't have time for this. I wanted to skip the ad and watch the video. I didn't want to sit through this fucking ad about fucking Lucky Charms or whatever the fuck it's gonna be about. I don't want to watch that. As a viewer, I know what it's like to sit there and not be able to click skip on an ad. So I don't like that, okay? This this next one right here, this is a big one, okay? People who do not prioritize and then complain when shit is going on the way left, boo-boo. Well, they do that ad, let me know, let me know, let me motherfucking know, because inquiring minds would like to know. Get it together, this can be for anything. It's, 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 it's whoa, <laughs> stutter much. It's as simple as you wanted to eat chicken for dinner tonight. You knew you were supposed to take the chicken out of the freezer when you woke up. You didn't take the chicken out of the freezer because you wanted to watch TV and play video games and fucking scroll on Instagram and watch YouTube videos all day. Seven o'clock rolls around, the chicken's still in the motherfucking freezer and it's not gonna thaw for now. It's not, it's gonna be frozen for a little bit, which means that you're probably not gonna be able to eat your dinner until what, until 11 o'clock p.m., which is not okay. And so what do you end up doing? You get mad because you forgot to take the damn chicken out, you didn't prioritize, you wanted to do all that other shit before you walk into the little kitchen and taking the chicken out the freezer. That's all you had to do. But you didn't do it because you wanted to do other shit first that has no value or importance. And now you're stuck wasting money on ordering a pizza because you didn't prioritize, you see? It could be as simple as not taking the chicken out of the freezer and as complicated as you bought a pair of shoes that you didn't need and now your fucking light bills do and you can't pay for the fucking light bill because you bought shoes instead. Do you see where I'm going with this? Don't fucking not prioritize and then complain about your situation. Whatever it is. Priorities. Everything else. Priorities everything else priorities everything else niggas that brag niggas bitches alike actually that brag about they funds when they know they struggling struggle booty struggle but struggle ass like why are you bragging about your your dollars if you ain't got none like trying to live a bougie ass lifestyle but you ain't got the like you can't keep up with it like what, what what possessed you to do that? I need to know. I, I really do, I'm just wondering. I just want some, I need somebody to enlighten me and tell me why would anybody in their right mind do that? Why would you brag about some shit you ain't got? Then what's gonna happen when everybody find out you ain't really got it like that? Then what, then you look stupid. Like, niggas do it all the time. Bitches do it too, trying to, trying to impress. Like, don't 
live for the gram boo don't live for social media don't try to make it seem like you're doing better than you are just do what you do like I, I bought this shirt at Forever 21 for for twenty dollars and ninety cents Canadian okay I could have went to Simon's and bought a Moschino shirt for two hundred dollars but I didn't because why because it was unnecessary so niggas be trying to ball out on Instagram ball out on fucking YouTube ball out on Twitter not Twitter nobody balls out on Facebook where they find your rent's not paid or their their car's getting towed or some shit like why would you do that meanwhile I'm over here with a savings account and I'm still buying $20 shirts from fucking Forever 21. Like, niggas really be trying to floss on Instagram like they really got it like that when they stand broke. Like, you're buying a Louis Vuitton belt for $600, but your baby's hungry. You're dropping $200 on Gucci flip-flops, trying to act like you finna fuck somebody, bitch. But you living in your mama's basement? I got to go. I got to go. to go because what do you mean what are you telling me right now you are just a joke like girl people that fix their top teeth and not their bottom teeth with their veneer having ass like come on if you're gonna spend the money especially on plastic surgery don't get botched surgery if you're gonna do your top teeth do the bottom row too because if the top teeth are looking like Bucky the Beaver and they're white as shit and then your bottom teeth are like fucking off-white looking like eggshells, I mean, you're gonna look crazy. I hate being inconvenienced. Like, especially if I'm working, because I'm pretty much a workaholic. A good example of me being inconvenienced would be, oh my gosh, going to the car dealership. First of all, I am the world's most difficult customer ever, okay? Going to the car dealership, the car dealership called me and they told me they have new stuff there for me to look at, blah, 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 blah. They already have had one experience with me. They know how the fuck difficult I am. There's only one car I'm willing to drive. If y'all know what it is, shout out to you. They were trying to put me in some next cars when I stepped on the lot and he was trying to show me some fucking hatchback. I was like, look, I don't have time to waste. There's only one car I'm going to drive out of this fucking place. I didn't swear at him. But I'm just like, there's only one car I'm willing to drive. If you're not going to show me that type of car, there's nothing, there's no reason for me to be here. Please do not waste my time. Like, do not inconvenience me. And he sure the fuck did inconvenience me because he knows that I want a Jeep Wrangler. But he has me looking at fucking Ford Focuses. Are you dumb? Are you stupid? Why did you call my phone, wake me up out of my bed, basically beg me to come to the fucking dealership and then you want to show me a Ford Focus when I want to drive a Jeep Wrangler? If you don't get your little ass. When I said I was so mad, you guys, like, and that was my second time there. The first time he wasted my time too. And at this point, I kind of have like a little story time about the whole car, car dealership thing that I'll share because... They will not be getting my business. That is all I know, okay? And, uh, but yeah, but like, do not inconvenience me. I do not like being inconvenienced. And he definitely inconvenienced me because I could have been sleeping in my bed, but no, or working. But he decided he wants to tell me to come all the way down to the dealership to, to make me look at a Ford Focus when I want to drive a Wrangler, really? Do you see any comparison there? A Ford Focus, the worst car ever, dot com, and a fucking Wrangler really really where how are they even close one is not even an suv like and even if it was an suv i still wouldn't want it because there's only one car i'm willing to drive and it is a fucking jeep wrangler so he better get his fucking life anyway do not inconvenience me last but not least one of the things that really fucking grinds my gears are people who assume Everybody knows to say right here. If you assume you make an ass 
out of you and me, okay? Do you get that? Ask you me. So don't assume. Because when you assume, you just look like a damn fool. You make everybody look stupid. Stupider than you already look, which is really fucking stupid. So you don't want to be the person that's assuming shit. Because the only thing you should be assuming is the position of your lips closing. Don't talk no shit to me. Don't talk no shit about me. Okay? Don't assume anything. By assuming, you're putting everybody in an uncomfortable position. And that is not your job. Your job is not to assume. You're not getting paid to assume or getting paid for your thoughts. So just keep them to yourself. With that being said, I love you all and I will definitely see you in the next one.